Hello friends, my name is Ajay and today we are going to discuss about CCNA security. So basically, the code of CCNA security is 640-55-4. So if you want to go give your exam, you can book this code, you can check this code and this code stands for the CCNA security codes. So, as of you know, that we are going to start our syllabus with CCNA security but first we will discuss very basic things that what is codes so basically Cisco divides this code codes into four parts this is CCNA security and he divided this course into four parts one two three four so let me check what are the four components of this exam so CCNA security. So basically, the four components are NFP, Network Foundation Protection. The second one is we can say it's anything that can bend up, that is VPN. That's very good. The third one is firewall. And the fourth one is IPS, IDS. So later, according to the Cisco, that this part will become CCNP secure or we can say the new model that is CCNP 30206. So we are not going to discuss about CCNP security version 5. Soon I will be going to launch the CCNP security videos also and this will become CCNP VPN. And this will become CCNP firewall. And this will become CCNP IPS IDS. So we are going to take one by one each thing. And we are going to finish all these things on the CLI, not on the CCP. So let me start the page again. So what I am going to tell you today that we are going to cover CCNA security on CLI. CLI, yes. We are not going to use not going to use GUI. Why? Why I'm not taking GUI and why I'm choosing CLI? There is a reason. See, GUI is easy. GUI means next. Click on next and then click on finish. That's it. The routing protocol is done. Your VPN is done. Everything is done. And even then, we are not going to aware what is happening in our background. So, CLI. You need to type the commands. CLI. Typing the commands. See, if you are typing the commands, we know, okay, this command is going to impact our network like this. This command has the functionality of this. So, that's why we are going to focus on the CLI. Most of our approach towards CCNA security is CLI. So, I can say we have two options of CCNA security. CLI or GUI. CCNA security. CLI that is command line interface, GUI graphic user interface. So, we are going to avoid this thing. We will discuss each and every command. Why I am running this command? See why is CLI first? We will discuss why I am running this command. Any command that we are going to type, we will discuss why I am typing this command. And what is the impact on my network after typing this command typing this command so so you know our basic model that we are going to follow CLI so from the next video we are going to discuss one by one all the topics that we are going to cover in CCNA security thank you